flag, bitch. Okay guys, so we are out here today on the Dodge 2004 Dodge Dakota two-wheel drive. We are replacing the throttle position sensor. Now, this, this can cause many things. It can cause rev up, it can cause low idle, high idle, it can cause a very different amount of things. I took the hose off because it would be easier to get the clip. The clip broke, but um, that's the way it's usually supposed to look, and just this part broke off to where it clips on to this piece right here. Now, why am I replacing it? Because it's bad, I keep having trouble with it, and it's just not working to what I needed to do. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, basically are you going to need a screwdriver, um, a ratchet with a star bit, which I call them stars, which is right here. Right here. This part was only ten dollars from Napa. It's uh, it's got a it's got a ten or a hundred thousand mile warranty on it or something. But um, yeah, these are these usually go bad after eighty to seventy thousand miles of being on a vehicle, from what I understand. This one has like a hundred thousand mile warranty, which is in there. All right, so I'm gonna rip it out and then I'll show you guys the interior and show you the difference between both of them. And by the power of videoing, and magically, it's out. So now we have the new one, which is the blue, which is the white one inside, and this is the black one, which is the stock one. As you can see, they are identical, and they're about, this one's about to go back in the new one. Hopefully, that fixes all my problems and everything, and I don't have to worry about anything. It seemed like water did get in the one because this one is a little bit corroded, um, like uh, salt water corrosion. It has that white stuff on it. Usually that's what you see on battery terminals. Which I do have some of that on my battery terminals. So I don't know what the hell that shit is. But um. When I come back here. We will have it all installed. And I will tell you what might this might end up leading to. If you do not change it. Alright. Okay the part is all installed. And that only took me a, uh, a couple. Uh, probably like 15 minutes. To reinstall it. Now a lot of people talk about. Removing this. Sometimes they're up on top of here on top of this thing, but in this case I have a 3.7 liter V6, so it's never that problem. As you can see, the clutch fan is holding up beautifully, and it is still red. Um, but yeah, they usually talk about, oh yeah, you gotta rip this whole damn thing off. It's gonna be a two-hour process because you're gonna have to rip it out, put it back in. Well, it's not. Um, also, um. Uh, Throttle position sensor, that is very important because um, if you're an automatic transmission, your throttle position sensor goes off of the shifting as well. So if it revs up, it'll shift and it'll make a grinding noise in your transmission. It will not be good. So you need to replace that as soon as possible if you are looking to get this done. Get it done soon. The part was only about $10, $20, so it ain't bad. Uh, so get replaced soon if you have that check engine light come up. It's a code um, P1030 something. It'll be a P code, but you can look it up on your phone or right on um, search bar. It'll tell you it's a throttle position sensor code that went. Um, nothing else really that I could tell you about my engine of my truck. Um, I just keep things well maintained and uh, keep everything up to date. And just keep doing what so I got. If my voice wasn't clear enough <clears throat> in the video that was in the clip that was prior to this, the throttle position sensor is a idling sensor, basically. So it tells the truck whether it needs to idle up or idle down. Now, in the process of it going bad, it can cause all kinds of different things. Um, somebody online said that his throttle position sensor went bad, and then. He had his transmission blow on him because it was shifting too hard in the gear. Uh, other people have said that it causes low idle and it blew one of the head gaskets. Um, another person on Facebook said, I just replaced my throttle position sensor and now I have a EVAP code or whatever. There's a lot of different things that a throttle position sensor can cause. 
but um, it's something that you want to keep ma maintained and aware of. So as soon as it goes bad or as soon as it throws a check engine light and it keeps going on and off, replace it. It it, it costs 15 to 20 hours to replace the part. Replace it. That's uh, It's simple. It's two screws, plug, plug it back in. Now, on the video, I did say I broke my clip. I pushed it on. Not really any problem with it right now. So I'm leaving it the way it is. I'm just checking on it every once in a while that it's staying in, and it's staying in pretty good. So eventually I will have to get a new plug and put the plug on. Right now, the next thing i got to do on my truck once um, December comes is I have to do the bed. So you will either see me doing a video of prepping the bed for a bed liner because I'm going to do um, either a like one of them paints where you can hit with a hammer and it doesn't break. Uh, I'm going to coat the bed probably in a gray or black. I think I'm going to do a gloss black on gray because that would look pretty cool. And plus, I just like the way that gloss black looks always. It's really amazing. If you've seen my Nova, you've seen the front bumpers being at front and back bumpers being all black. I I really love that. Um, after that, I'm hoping to do suspension on it. Uh, probably gonna drop it down two inches, so I have a two inch lift on it. Uh, it's two wheel drive, so I mean it'll be a, a pretty interesting of a process. But problem is. I just want to get a little bit higher in my truck. I don't want to be so low to the ground and have a little bit more ground clearance. And then the next thing would be uh, bumpers. So I went over what to, how to replace it. It's basically a star bit screw. You need a screwdriver, pliers, and a torque bit, well, star bit. And that's the easiest installation that I've ever had on this truck. Like the clutch fan, that was interesting. The... The um, carbon, the, 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 the thing we did by the gas tank, uh, I forget what, the EVAP canister, there it is, the EVAP canister. We did that, and that was very interesting of a process. But this throttle position sensor was the easiest thing I had to do. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are entertaining with the Dodge Dakota videos and uh, all the other videos. We do have some more coming up eventually on the truck. But for right now, I'm doing what I can when I can afford it and when stuff goes bad and what I can replace. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.